านได้ขมาคือเทียมมาลกสรงบอกตั้งตาปีโบราณวัดประทองอารยธรรมรุ่นกลางกลางขมาอุศกสามีนสุดเสรยไอเลยขมาเจ้าจันยูชีพเตียนตั้งมายตรกายสร้างเจนโรจีวีศึกสังเรียมคลังกับเป็นเลือดเทอร์นีขมายรุ่งสามปีกาเปียวตึงเตยกำปะเทียไอกระเรียงบัดทิพีตุงขมายบาสกแกงอ้อมกรอบอาภาสมประพนุนอ้ยปอสัตสาธุกาสาธิรณารถทวยกรุบลงหายเลยได้ได้ขมายดีเทียมหาลบสรงบอบสักเสรยไอเลยขมายเจ้าจะยืนชีวิตเพียงตะเตยขมายตรงกายสร้างเย็นโปรชีวิสักสังเรียมคลังกลับไปเลือดทรณีขมายรูปสามีกาเปียวตะเตยกำปะเทียไอกระเรียบบาดที่ปีตุงขมายบาดสักแกงห้องโรคธรรมาคนอ้อยโตสดสาธุกาสาธิรณารถทำไมกรบกรองแผ่นเลย dương trong bậc cạn lá xôm cầm phai bọc cúng, bậc bút bậc thọ bậc song chật tít sạc ra xôm cầm chìm 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 xuống ai giờ đâm bật tiếng sa sa cháo mà đặt đâm chật đấy, à kẹt sa phần đất à kẹt mê bằng chiết cá ụt đâm cầm bậc sát khăm ai chơi khăm ai rồi ta chiết chật tít cầm bọc bọc cúng cua, nâng xôm chìm chìm xuống bằng phồn khăm ai, tu tiếng sạc ra lục, nít chiết cầm bật thít tuột sơn sệt, trái lực tít mà phai bầm mùi, thằng ai nít dương miên bật thiên là bắt say ẩm pí anh ta cất câu khai còn cá đặt nhóm rộp bọ ai giờ đâm sát sát cha bên đặt đâm chặt ở đây dương khi nhóm xôm bọ sai chia phía sau ông lấy mình đốt tỏi tử Good evening and welcome back to Supreme Council of Khmer Health Khmer for Rescue Khmer Lady Viewpoint Hour Number Twenty Six Show and now I would like to introduce our panelists this evening right now we have Mr. Davy she is our special guest. And of course, we have Mrs. China Chan and Mrs. Kalyanu. And my name is Chobi Pui. I am your host tonight. Welcome back, ladies. Thank you, Bong. Thank you, Bong. Nice to be back. Yes. Our last show, number 25th, cover my <laughs> Republic Geopolitics, Geo Commerce, Geo economy in ASEAN. Tonight's topic is about the future of our children. And the title of tonight's show is The Future of Khmer Children under His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam Leadership. Before we start our show tonight, we will have a short video to share with our audience. Bong Mani, please play the radio. Thank you, Bong. one of the fastest growing cities in Asia in decades of economic growth and investment have led to a building boom. The bricks that make it possible are made in local factories like this one. Here, the bricks are cheap, 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 the b
dương chết nơi đó dương thơ cắt thơ cắt đó bì hút mà nà ý cô dương bàn ý màu chẳng á This work amounts to debt bondage. The League for the Promotion and Defence of Human Rights, or LICADO, also calls it a form of modern-day slavery.
lady and gentlemen, this video is very painful and very sad to see such evil <clears throat> happening. And I want, and what they all doing to innocent children, most of them all under age. Own Garyan, own China, please share, share your thought. But first I would like to hear from our special guest this evening. Before we give the mic to her, I would like to provide information about this young political phenomenon that is 11 years old now. As we always said in our Khmer saying, the Biang Slong recite, her inspiring political skill has many following her on our YouTube channel. She holds first place every semester in her grade four the last three or four years. We are so proud of her again on this show. Khmui Devi, welcome back. And also we would like to inform our audience that we have to keep Khmui Devi, her camera close due to her safety. And now please tell us, Khmui Devi, can you tell us what you have been doing in the last several months, especially you know, during the COVID-19? Did your family um, react to this? How is your family react to this pandemic, Khmui Devi? I am very honored to be invited to come again, I mean, Chavi. Yes, it has been a long time and I have been busy with my school. As I always, I am very concerned with how I am doing in school. As Namin said, I hold first place in my class and I am very proud of it. It is very hard work, a lot of homework every day, plus my father gave me an extra curriculum to read. Mm -hmm. This does not take me away from following the Supreme Council of Khmer Head Khmer Lai show every Saturday and Sunday. Regarding the pandemic, our family took the virus very seriously. I guess that was the reason our family stay healthy. My father is a very serious and disciplined person. He kept a very strict house rule. When I heard that the Supreme Council of Khmer Head Khmer Ladies viewpoint next topic of Tom personal recite, and I am being invited for this topic. I just jump for joy. You do not know how excited to be here today, I mean. It is great to be back. Thank you. Wow, you are not short of word at all. Just one short question. You can go on mm -hmm. and on. Um, I am so proud of you, my dear. Again, welcome back and uh, thank you. And Ontina, you all an educator by trade. I would like to lead this off by sharing um, your opening thought, On. Well, um, thank you, Bong Chavi. Uh, first of all, I would like to add my comment to the video we just saw earlier. Um, yes, as an educator, I just can't fathom how these young children are underprivileged and don't have an equal opportunity to be in the prestigious school as the rich kids does, right, or do. But when the new Khmer Republic soon come to govern the country, fortunately, under the reform of Dr. Ray Sinan, um, you know, we are going to have, uh, we're definitely going to have the same privilege and equal opportunity to have the same education in the public school with special school amenities, just like all the rich kids under the uh, Hun Sen regime model. And yes, Bong Chavi, uh, Tup TV has shown quite a bit maturity, Bong, like I said earlier before we start the show, right? Since the last uh, she came to our show, her English seems to be a lot more fluent than before, even though last time she was quite good. And um, I wish we have more of Gold Khmer like her. And then our next generation depends on uh, you know, so much on them. We cannot have a weak and ill-advised young generations rebuilding the dysfunctional country that we are witnessing right now, right? Mm -hmm. So um, Hun Sen and his crony have done a very good job, I, can, I want to say that, in poisoning the younger generation in every which way possible. They have created a uh, major inequality in society. And I hope by having the TV on our show tonight, Bong Chavi, Bong Karyan, mm -hmm. uh, will encourage other young ladies out there to wake up. And all we you know, must do right now is to send out a positive message to other young ladies out there to do the same as TV. Uh, plus, Bong, we as, as CKHK Khmer Ladies Viewpoint will start tonight with this message. No one loves more Khmer than Khmer ourselves. 
do not embrace Western culture or foreign culture. We have a rich culture that dated back to thousands of years ago. Ong Chavi? That is correct, Ong China. How about you, Ong Kaliyat? What is your feeling about uh, what Ong China just said? What is your thought on this video, Ong Kaliyan? Sure, Bong. First, I would like to welcome uh, Kamoy Devi back to our show. And I am very happy, Kamoy, that to hear that you are doing um, an excellent job in school. So we are very happy and very proud of you, Kamoy. And you know, Bong, you know, um, I would like to refer, start out, you know, refer to what Kamoy Devi said that touches me first. Um, she said that my father is a very serious and disciplined person. You know, this is what a foundation of a family is built on, Bong. Serious and disciplined. Um, this is what we need to rebuild our nation. Um, you know what, lady, Singapore had a very serious and disciplined leader, the late former prime minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, which we do have and also better, even better, no one else than his excellency professor, Dr. Racy Dam. And in regarding to the video, you know, this is very, very painful um, as usual to see such thing, you know, like the uh, brick, uh, excuse me, blood brick that we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. The yeah. worst of it is that they use um, bonded labor to trap the family as well as we all seen on the video, you know, the man and the lady. When the mm -hmm. parents cannot work, they use the children to do those work. And under the New Khmer Republic government, there will be no more pain, suffering, slavery labor, or child labor on our land bong. Um, and I am going to say this slowly and very proudly. Buk Patien is the first Asian to hold the most influential position on this planet due to his controls of the world uh, wealth, excuse me, the world wealth. And you know what, also um, per the ASEAN post dated back in 2017, 26 projects with 7,325 units were completed and 54 projects providing 2000, uh, to me, 27,021 units were completed also between 2018 to 2021. And you know, they used the whole family, including the children to make those bricks and use those bricks to build those condos, Bong, China. See how sad painful mom. it is. It's very sad as you've seen on the video, those children, how the living yes. condition. Yes. This is very heartbreaking. Absolutely. Yes. Heartbreaking, yes. You know, and this is about 34,346 um, condo units at 80 locations around you know, the country that are subject to review and confiscated for national emergency use under the new Khmer Republic government, Bong. Well, you know what, Bong, I wanted to add addition to what you just said, that uh, the link to bondage and child labor, as stated, the parents need their children to help them work as a slave labor to pay off the debt that their employer pay off their micro lending, Bong. Mm -hmm. This must stop. We cannot let our children's future burn down into flame like this. We as Khmer Nation do not have the respectable families value anymore because when Sen breaks up uh, our family with financial hardship and poison our kids with illegal drugs and prostitution, mom. Well, thank you, lady. And and now I would like to get Kamui uh, baby comment on this, you know, because she witnessed firsthand in Cambodia. Um, um, hold on. Um, Kamui baby, have you seen many children wandering the street and not going to, to school? I mean, you know, referring uh, the children that are supposed to be in school. Do you, why do you think they are not in school, Kamui? Thank you, Dimitri, for asking this question. There are a number of reasons why these children are not in school, mainly because of economic reason. These children are from very poor families that are not able to earn more than $5 per day. I am very fortunate to have my parents that are able to support me in going to school, but my parents are still struggling as well. And this government is doing very little to improve their life. Mm. Thank you, Kamui. I know everyone is uh, very upset here after the video, but you know, let's look at the positive side. 
what can we do to pull and put our children future on their right track so we could be on you know, our road to prosperity? Well, you know, Bong, Cambodia does not seem to understand the meaning of what is important in developing the nation's future. You know, they do not have any sustainable programs like the youth development, but they have the proverbs, the tampang snang rasai, and in the direct translation would be bamboo shoot, successor of the bamboo, and also means the future generations, Bong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they may have it in theory, but absolutely nothing executing. Wow. Wong Kalyan is absolutely correct, Wong Chavi. No concrete implementations of youth development program exist. Cambodia probably has the most dysfunctional kids on the street than any nations in ASEAN. We provided this statistic before in one of our programs, but I'm going to bring it up again so we all registered. Only the rich could afford education. Higher education remains far beyond the rich of most world uh, area. Well, let me share this number again. Um, you know, female youth, the gross enrollment rate in tertiary uh, education among youth aged between 18 and 22 is about 20%. And then uh, the poor household, 2.6%. Adult women, 3.3 to 17.4 percent. This means if uh, you know if you are poor, good luck. These figures are far below uh, below the norm in one and the first world educations. I'm very upset every time I read out the figures, ladies. Uh, let's do something about this. Now I am all about making my great again, bonsai, and we must start with the poor. And you know uh, that's what they need it the most. And I'm talking about the 3 million farmers' families. You know, I can feel your pain on. Uh, I am very uh, burnt up too uh, with this, you know, figure that you just uh, uh, read out on saying. Yeah. Ah, bon um, I know you, you, you feel my pain, but, you know, each of us, we have uh, different pains, um, different measure of pain. Uh, with this being said, I am mad that our future generations is slowly degrading into less than human in the rural area. Only the elite families are enjoying life, especially when we all witnessed the wedding of Deputy Prime Minister Chia Zapata, granddaughter married to one of the wealthiest real estate development mong, uh, developers, I'm sorry. They even assaulted the poor with their European Monaco type love story video of their weddings proposal the other day on a remote island, which uh, we would see the Hollywood movie show like the Fantasy Island movie, but I would never thought this was, you know, a, a reality thing. Yes, so. and you ladies remember the Fantasy Island show? I used to love huh? that show so much. Gosh, a remake too. Yes. <laughs> you and I both, Mom. Yeah, it, it is a fantasy island. It's a fantasy. Not they have a new reality. episode. Yeah, they, yeah. they have a new series uh, that comes. Uh, I it, think it, 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 daily. it was daily point. back then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and okay. ironically, you know, that wedding venue is in the heart of the slump. Yeah. You know, in Phnom Penh, but, you know, their compound is on the fantasy island. <laughs> okay oh, so ladies so now let's get ourselves burned uh, you know uh don't get ourselves burned up uh, with this uh, evil acts of uh, this uh blood sucker leech we are the organization of solution let's focus on providing solution to our people on Yan, let's hear this from you um but just just one minute i am going to let um on china cool off first <laughs> let hear. i want to hear from Kamui Devi on this hollywood style Kamui say wedding in cambodian at first Kamui Devi. i mean i do not know much about weddings but from seeing through facebook i was very disappointed to see such a big gap in society in our country. As I said, many children cannot even afford to go to school. Well, thank you, Kamui Devi, for your input. Now, on Yam. Sorry. Well, thank you, Wong. Yeah, you know, I am too upset to see such lavish wedding while I will go to my children can't even, they don't get three meals a day, Wong, those children, mm -hmm. you know, that live in the rural yeah. area. Yeah. yeah. You know, even Kamui Devi, you know, she could see the difference here, you know, between the gap between the rich and the poor. You know, and I'm sure that Davy, you know, she's pretty disappointed too, um, because 85% of our Gold Khmer are suffering and living in poverty. You know, they really, really insulted Gold Khmer. 
Uh, but you know, you are right, Wong. You know, we are here. I mean, excuse me, we are an organization of solutions, mm -hmm. and we are here to provide solutions. You know, we do not just say it. We are as as CKHK, Kamai Ladies Viewpoint principle is action, just like our Lopatian. You know, Bong, you know, we, under the leadership of His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam, have a constructive plan of action to bring Gong Khmer out of poverty with the best education that money could buy, ladies. And our principle is very simple. We are not going to reinvent a new wheel of education. We are just going to implement what has already proven successful in the leading developed country like um, the United States, the, the United Kingdom and the European Union. Plus, you know, Japan and Singapore also have a very good disciplined education culture that we should adapt, you know, to advance our education system into the next millennium. That is very cor correct, on uh, Father Yang. I totally agree with you. We must strive to be the best in the next few years every sector without uh, retooling you know our education system and empowering our youth we will not be successful on that is true bong kalyan what bong uh call uh, uh bong pa chavi uh what bong kalyan just said earlier we have a very uh, uh an extensive gap and we the supreme council come how come under my republic and under local pian we are going to bridge that gap well we are going to go in and um actually you know we're going to inject uh for a second and then i have noticed that the desire and the flame of the youth are very strong they want to learn just mm -hmm. uh you know like wanting to have candy in their mouth long their jaw drop wide open eager to soak up the new knowledge but mm -hmm. we must do it systematically in a proper way to have a solid educational foundation to last many generations to come Wong. Now, I agree with you. Uh, please continue. Well, thank you, Wong Chavi, for agreeing with me. Uh, first, we must have a Head Start program for the young children to prepare them to join the school system. And we must have uh, PYD. What I mean, what PYD is, is a positive youth development. In America, we call it the PYD program, Wong. This PYD program is to connect youth uh, groups to positive experience. Program should include the following principle. Uh, the PYD positive youth development has eight principle, and I'm going to uh, call a uh, call them you know i'm going to tell you what the eight are uh the pyd international one is the pyd international process it is about being uh proactive to promote protective factors in young people and then two the pyd complement effort to prevent risky behaviors and attitudes in youth and support efforts that work to address negative behavior and then three pyd acknowledges and uh, further develops or strengthen youth asset, all you have the capacity for growth and development. And then four, PYD enable youth to thrive and flourish and prepares them for a healthy, happy, and safe adulthood. Five, PYD involve youth as active agents. Youth are issued and encouraged the particip uh, participant in desired the uh, delivery and evaluations of the services, adults and youth work in partnership. And then six, PYD instill leadership quality in youth, but youth is required to lead. Youth can attend, actively participate, contribute, and or lead through PYD activity. Number seven, well, PYD involved in civic involvement and civic engagement. Youth contribute to their school as broader community through service. And then last, PYD involved in, um, in engages every element of community like uh, school, homes, community members, and others, what have you. Young people, family members, and community partners are valued through this process model. PYD is an investment that the community make in young people. Youth and adult work together to frame the solution. Learn more about engaging youth as active participants and partners. Mong Chavi. Well, thank you, Onchina. Uh, what you just uh, laid out um, is a remarkable principle and structure to groom our youth. Okay, you. um, for those of you, thank you again, Ontina. Okay, thank Ongalian, you. I understand that 
you have discussed, you know, this topic with uh, Lupu Sotopik about the future of our youth. After all, you know, he going to be the prime minister of the new Khmer Republic. I, I'm so excited. I cannot wait on our um, <laughs> I guess what we are, you, Mom. Yeah. Call you Uncle uh, Chavi. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, what what is your thought about this on end? But you know, I want um Kamui Tepevi to input first before you know you give me an answer. Kamui Tepevi. Thank you, Namin, for thinking of me. It mm. is important that we should have programs to implement to engage with the youth and society. But I strongly think that parents must play a major role with the youth, not just the system. Both of my parents care for my study and they are involved with my study every day. They are my role model, I mean. Yes, you know, I do agree with uh, Davy. Davy is correct. Parents must be part of the youth when they are growing up. You know, Bong, as we all are aware that Luk Pertien and Luk Bong Sorapek are very serious about education and they could not get to where they at right now well, without the, a, a solid foundation from their parents. Both hold PhD degrees, and Luke Patin alone has six PhD degrees. You know, this is such a remarkable accomplishment by one person. And when I informed Luke Wong about our um, number 26 topic, the future of uh, Khmer children under his SMT professor, Dr. Ray C. Dam uh, leadership, Luke Bong provided me with about 17 pages of notes to support this show. So thank you, Luke Bong. Uh, and I assure you both that our, both our leaders are very committed to providing quality education and prosperity for uh, the next generations to come, Bong. Great, thank you. Thank you, Bong. Um, Kalyan, I'm so glad that uh, we are able to bring out this topic so the world, especially Cambodian Kulkamai can hear it. You know, as an educator, Bong, one PhD is very hard to achieve already, but you know, imagine six PhD mm. degrees and all from elite school that have high reputation um, is such an astonishing accomplishment, Bong. I do not know how Luk Patin did it. Only, you know, he know how he could do it because this is such a, like I said, uh, an astronomical work. And I've always say something that's majestic is astronomical to me. That is why is, you know, he is the sole heir to the global combined collateral asset holder and the grand master commitment holders, Bong. Yes, I agree, China. And you know what? Reputation is very important. Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam certainly holds the highest reputation in the world to hold this kind of prestige since 1995 and hold his office with honor. And what I'm getting at is, you know, in order for you to have a good breed of the bangs now to say, which is in English is bamboo shoot or the future generations, um, you must have a good breeder. And look, Patin certainly is the best role model that any world leaders want to be. You know, they just want to be like him. Mm -hmm. which are, you know, he's powerful, mm -hmm. he's um, educated, he is very influential, and he is very moral compass. Well, thank you, Own Kalyan. Own China Kalyan just uh, described, you know, Lopretian quality in reference to uh, the Bang Song recite. Well, Mong, um, Chavi, this monster Hun Sen has created a dysfunctional society for the last 40 years. It is very difficult to correct this dysfunctional culture, as we all witness that all kinds of uh, ill event happen from uh, family members raping younger males, raping elderly grandma, and romance inside the holy temple. Uh, you know, but I, I'm very hopeful that this will be uh, corrected or rectified when the new Khmer Republic takes control of the country and inject the purity of real Buddhism into the society again. Uh, with Lok Patin's power of Lord Buddha to this, uh, as said, uh, Chavi mentioned, I mean, I'm sorry, Bongkolian, of course, Bong Chavi too mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> the Bans now to say is one of the many ancient Khmer proverbs that Khmer ancestor in the past created to educate the children to follow the path of good dharma, uh, the dignity and prosperity for daily life. Uh, the word the Bans now to say 
metaphorically means that the elder refers to the younger generation as the bang, and to say refer to the elderly or elders. Again, Mong Lukutian is perfect. And he is the epitome on the only, you know, the only one that is the best role model for Art Feng uh, to be, it's not to say. Well, yeah. You know, um, this is the perfect reference um, to the eight principle that uh, own China just mentioned earlier. Yes. Yes, you know, well, you know, Tam Feng and Rsei needs to rely on communication with each other. And if uh, Rsei grows well, then Tam Feng can also grows well according to the uh, bamboo uh, comparison bong. And per Cambodian elders focus on the succession or continuation of the older um, generations work. And in this sense of all meaning, Lukotin has done extremely, extremely well. You know, better than any king or queen in the world, yes. Better than presidents of any country in the world, yes. And any prime minister, um, of any countries in the world. Yes. Bong. Definitely. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All three. <laughs> three. Bong, our ancestor created uh, this slogan to inspire our children to allow the next generation to take turns leading society and doing other things with the elders as teachers and advisors. This relies communication with uh, e, you know, each other, as you mm. can see, Lopu Sorpet and Lopu Tien are a very good uh, example uh, of a communicators and definitely an excellent role model for the bamboo groves well under their leadership, Bong. Hmm. Oh, Tina, send you all on this path of this uh, elderly teaching. Has our elderly teaching got uh, tainted on? Bong, good question. I never thought of this before, but um, you know, I must say it's probably been affected. As a matter of fact, our elders are affected by many civil wars from one era to another, which had a severe impact during the democratic Cambodia regime and has had a devastating effect on our bamboo, the elders. It, um, you know, even Hun Sen's regime himself played a major role in the annihilations of our culture by the silent hand of the Vietnamese master. But we have a rebuilding to do now we have a Lukutin to lift us up from the ash and reform uh, what was uh, left and um, start, you know, going back to the old civilization again. Well, thank you. Why did you say ash? Hun San claimed that he brought peace time to the country. Yeah, really? Okay, well. Um, are you are you trying to get me to burn up? You know, every time we talk about Hun Sen, I, I get really I, I can't I get really perturbed. You know about about this to be going on, right? The result Gina, of corruption. We're gonna calm down. To we have to finish our show, huh? okay? Well, you, you know, I we love our country, and 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 the, you know, it's just something that we wanted to send a message to all these Gong Khmer to understand what Hun Sen has been doing. He's you know he's in corruptions bribery and especially education such a bribery you know he everybody bribing teachers in school today are killing mm -hmm. our youth growth because of bribery mong i mean mm -hmm. uh, we are at the bottom of asian and every category how how we how what kind of word is he saying i am lost our people are running off to thailand to find jobs in the million for example some student go to school every day they pay money to the teacher to make grades you know, even young children have been exposed to corruption since elementary school. This is what they call the future of the nation. They start to rot from a young age, Mong, that the Fang already has a problem. Their outer skin already got rotten. What do you think about the social environment such as associating with our friends, drug and et cetera? What this one said, the Fang's not to say and the future and this, the Fang's not to will be charged in the government, Mong. Okay, yeah, sorry, Gina, Bong, you know, let, me jump, <laughs> let me jump in before China blows up here, okay? okay. Please let me jump in here. You know, okay. I'm very, you know, ladies, I'm very positive that the nepotism regime will be gone soon, just like um, the Sri Lanka government. You know, per social uh, researchers that have stated that um, Rasai, which referred to the, uh, the old elder or elderly, mm -hmm. is the source of fertility that helps and support the uh, uh, peng, excuse me, tampeng, risai, excuse me, risai, uh -huh. or the youth, you know, of the next generation, you know, and we will provide experiences 
education, general knowledge, skill training, moral education, and so forth. You know, as we all said, regardless of what this corrupted regime might have done to Gong Khmer, our people are still uh, uh, resilient to bounce back. And we have proven evidence already. Our SCKHK, the Khmer Ladies Viewpoint, had recruited hundreds of youth called Chai Chai Ta Thong. You know, mm. they are waiting to embark on a learning journey to change their lives, ladies. You know, I could see in their, uh, their flame of life um, in their eyes that they are, they are ready to learn. And all they need is the opportunity to prove that they are worthy as the elite children in Cambodia. Wow, this is very touching, Old uh, When you said you can like see the flame that life, you know, in their eyes and ready to learn. Thank you, Own and Own China. What did you think about this statement? Well, you know, well, uh, Kalyan um, was very well said coming out from her um, is very strong that everybody needs to know and it's a, a dire that everybody needs to know what's going on and what's happening in Cambodia. Uh, Bong, especially these young uh, children are very eager to step mm. up and prove to the world that they are worthy as well, you know, uh, and I'm very heartbroken, just like Bong Koyan and you, to see such a flame of desire coming from them because you know, I have three years, I'm a four year old granddaughter as well. And I know how, how young these children are, especially, uh, you know, striving, thriving for success. And we, we can't let them down when our regime take over, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Lady, as we all know, some young people have graduated, you know, but um, cannot find a job because of the lack of support from this, uh, from the elderly, uh, you call that say Each year, the statistic is like, you know, 60,000 graduate um, with a few opportunity uh, to land a decent job. So they could, you know, fed themselves and have a normal life. What is your thought on this? Uh, any solution or recommendation? Lady, anybody? Well, Bong, you know, let me answer this. You know, Bong, you know, there is always a solution to everything as long as we, have a desire to do so. Mm -hmm. You know, Lo desire is very strong in rebuilding our nation to be strong again. Uh, the former prime minister of Singapore, uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew said, the most important asset of a nation is the value of the people and the level of the educated people and the skill to perform the task. This is very true as, you know, we, all in, you know, it's the same as the, um, in the, in the business world, excuse me, it's the uh -huh. same as in the business world and the nation is, is no different. Um, the more educated the people are, the more advanced the country will be. Exactly. And to achieve this ladies, you know, the elders known as the bamboo must be strong to be the role models. If our young people do not have a high, high, uh, high level of education, it would be difficult to bring quality jobs or even to compete in the region. And this will present a challenge with a very high unemployment rate. You know, today we all um, in industrial revolution 4.0 or more, the labor market will be opening beyond the border. What do we need, you know, to do to capture this best job for our people? You know, well, Chavi, good question. This is a very, very good question that you brought up here. Um, the ASEAN region has more than 600 million people and Cambodia seems to be, you know, not as competitive position as, you know, the rest of, uh, you know, the world due to lack of vision and, you know, plain blatant from Hun Sen and his crony when the resources or the people in those 10 country ASEAN are integrated, all will become the people of the region. Local people must be within a standard that people can work in the region to respond to the idea of one community, one vision and one destiny ball. China, you know, when the integration takes place, I do not think that our people will be um, positioned to grab uh, the premium jobs like the high tech or the high value uh, manufacturing. 
But, you know, I'm very, very certain when the new Khmer Republic takes over the country, His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Sidam will be bringing the jobs to Cambodia and not just any jobs. It will be high uh, value um, manufacturing, developing, or even project. How? Um, well, let me remind everyone here. Look what Tian has one of his companies in the Middle East established since 1978, and it is currently de developing an industrial complex in Congo in Africa. Wow. How about the engagement with the country and the people of uh, the region? Well, Chloe, there will be some adjustment phases from both sides of the engagement. Yes, we now see the economic gap, the knowledge gap between the 10 countries, but the leaders or the government of the 10 countries will have to find solutions to overcome this minor adjustment. As uh, Bong Koyan had mentioned a second ago, Lopatin will be bringing manufacturers and high value manufacturers to Cambodia. This means we will be in the leverage positions in the engagement, uh, unlike, you know, uh, Hun Sen's regime, Bong. Okay, let's turn our attention to what it be like when the new Khmer Republic take over the government. Ong Chin Hassan, you uh, an educator, this is your alley on. <laughs> oh, I'm not too sure if this is my alley of experience, <laughs> but I will try my best, okay? Our youngster will be the future of the nation. We must return to the old principle of our uh, culture. We are talking about paying attention to artistic works, which are the soul, the identity, and the prestige, and the pride of the nation. It is the pillars of the nation as well. I am referring to the culture like arts, music, and classical dance of the rich history that we have seen crave on, uh, I'm sorry, engraving on the wall uh, of Angkor Wat and other temples around the country, even in Thai territory, Bob. Yeah. Yes, you know, Mong Chavi and China, you know, returning to the old principle of culture is, is a must, but we, uh, we must, but first we must at the same time, the youth who are the nation's pillar must also have a significant basic knowledge besides, you know, just our culture. And the other knowledge that the young people must have are the knowledge of politics and the economy as well. Young people need to have a culture knowledge to know themselves and not to be mistaken with foreign cultures. And so please be proud that my culture is the oldest culture in the region. Again, you know, um, do not refuse, uh, confuse, excuse me, confuse it with the foreigner culture, okay? Young people. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not wrong. Yeah. Okay, can you, uh, one of you lady, can you please explain why politics and the uh, economy must be educated for youngster? Well, Mong, uh, let me cover this uh, question if uh, you don't mind, Mong Kalyan, yeah, thank sure. you. Uh, well, politics focus on the relationship between the people and the government, the law, social progress, social stability, and people's participations in the nation building with the government. If young people who do not understand politics will become uh, you know, tools of politicians and they will not be able to serve a pillar, as pillars of the nation. On the other hand, economic is a study of how to afford to use the resources that are produced to create services to meet the needs of people. The economy is also one of the strength of uh, you know, building the nation. Therefore, the youth who are the nation's pillar must have economic knowledge. Well, they are wise in using money, family resources as well, as well as society. Well, hmm. well, well said, Own, um, because you know, though our youth are the pillars of the nation. Thank you, right. uh, as well, um, as we all know that our nation is growing nation. The majority of our population is youth. What kind of the society should we be expecting? Send we the send the genocide has you know destroyed our true Khmer value already on? You know, Bong, you know, we must return to the basic principle that Khmer were built on our rich cultures. Um, in other words, a prosperous society is a society with vital human resources, that is human resources with high education, deep thinking, high creativity good citizenship, mom. And that's, um, we practiced it during the Angkor era. Mm -hmm. And right now, 
this devil regime promoted corruption all around from the time our children um, enrolled in uh, first grade or even in, in kindergarten. And to correct this, we must establish the following six principle bond. One is self-development is the first step before contributing to the development of society. And two, um, increase self-knowledge is to learn and to find more knowledge in addition to learn in school. Three, moral compass, abide by the law set by the state. Have good principle of integrity, participation in solving social problems and do not commit corruptions. And four, cultivate a patriotism mindset. Five, volunteering to help society. Six, express personal views um, to contribute opinion and idea with dignity, Mom. Youth is the pillar of the nation, the new generation that uh, mature in each area. Oh, Gina, what kind of a leadership should our youth be on? Well, during that time of war, Bong, young people are forced to join the army without going to school. And now we are in the rebuilding era under Lopatian leadership. Mm -hmm. Our youth shall be adapted to the following characteristic. Here are the seven characteristics, Bong. One is visionary person. Two is leadership. Three is common sense. Uh, four, influential. Five, intelligence. Six, solidarity. Uh, solidarity. And then seven, morality. Yeah, what, um, what is needed for development is a transition toward progress for this next generation, Uncle Lian. Well, Bong, you know, developing a country de depends on education because education is the building of human resources um, that requires for uh, educational uh, ideas, Bong. And here are the three types of training that you know, we are essential to develop the human resources bank bond, uh, cognitive training, psychological, mental training, and three training of um, talents and um, achievement bond. Mm, thank you, Owen. Now let's look at what, where the other nation in the region doing with their education program. Owen China, can you uh, share with us, you know, about other country? How about um, just Asian, Asian only, Owen? For okay, um, well, I'm going to share only Thailand and Singapore. Singapore is the leader in ASEAN for just mm -hmm. a short period of time. And Thailand shares a very much similar culture as we are. Mm -hmm. I thought these uh, two should be a good choice for comparis uh, comparison and contrast or for the discussion. Singapore uh, with it's 5.6 million people and have multiple ethnic groups able mm -hmm. to strive to, the be the, to be the best, the nation's birth in 1965. And after 52 years, they have achieved in every category. While Thailand, on the other hand, is a country that has not been in the region since World War II, have not made as much progress as they claim to be. The rural areas still have challenges due to the culture that they hold. So with you know, shares very similar to Cambodia, the culture of impunity. However, a great number of people have made great strive for prosperity, but still a big gap between the upper class and lower class. Well, this is due to, like we said, the lack of education for the lower class. Here are the statistics, and let me read this out, well, so everybody can grasp it. Singapore, 74% of those over 25 years old had at least a high school degree. And then in Thailand, in the whole kingdom of 43.3% of the population received four years of education. 90.8% had completed the primary program, 74.2% the lower secondary and 47.4% had completed the general and vocational upper secondary programs long. Um, and for Cambodia, you know, here is the data, which I hate to talk about it, um, secondary education shows high uh, inequalities across gender, a total net enrollment rate of only 27.7% in 2014. And then higher education has remained far beyond the reach of most rural and female youth. The gross enrollment rate in tertiary education among youth aged between 18 and 22 has improved significantly over the last 10 years, 
from 4.9 to 20%, including among the poorest household from 0.2 to 2.6%, and women among 3.3 to 17.4%. This data printed on ASEAN post dated January the 4th, 2020, and which shows that the school system under that devil, Hun Sen, fell miserably. I mean, miserably. Well, thank you, Ong China. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of information. Thank you. Okay, Ong Kalyan. <laughs> no, China. I am not surprised at all. Under this evil regime, it is a big gap between the rich and the poor. You know, we have we all have seen on Facebook, of course. You know, the country has more potholes than my num group. You know, num group pot on the street. Yeah, you know your <laughs> Yeah, I know my yeah. num pot very well, and this is there's more more pot. Yeah, you potholes. show us the other day, Bon Yan. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and when the rainy season comes, everything floods, and there are so many Rolls Royce driven you know, on the dirty street of Phnom Penh, and you know they are showing off, and they probably competing uh, with each other. I guess, you know, competing with each other, that's what makes them thrill. And, but, you know, ladies, let's not get carried away with this. And I am coming back to education. Um, those who could not afford education for their kids are thriving to soak up the knowledge. It is an evidence that my children are doing debates and presentation, even in English language. They're oh, very yeah. smart. Yeah. Anyway, Uncle mm -hmm. you said afford it. What do you mean? The public school require money to attend on? Well, well, you know, the public school is free, but some families still cannot afford to send their kids to school because of the cost of living, like books and school materials and uniforms, Bong. The data that China read out earlier, um, it, is, it is a true number, Bong. The majority of our people are making less than, I mean, $5 or less per day. You know, and there are 13,597 public schools throughout the country, and most of them are falling apart long, as we've seen on, um, on the uh, video and even on Facebook. Um, back in 2018, the Ministry of Education has 120,000 staffs, mm. okay, 120,000 staffs. Cambodia has 16 public universities out of 13,000. 597 public schools. Total um, student enroll is 3.2 million. Uh, female, 1.6 million, and uh, 1.6 million go to the males. And on the other hand, according to the Minister of um, Education, Youth and, uh, and Sports, a total of uh -huh, 218,357 students were enrolled in 1,222 private schools nationwide, wow. <laughs> excuse me, from preschool to high school. Hmm. You know, Bong, 218,357 students attended 1,222 private schools nationwide. <laughs> excuse wow. me. This is the reason why the world is making fun of us, especially our neighboring country. Neighbors. Yeah. Oh, Tina? Um, well, uh, you know, Bong, um, this is correct, Mokalyan, right now in Cambodia, we have a one university called the American University that have affiliated with uh, two American universities here in the United States, the Arizona uh, uh, University and uh, Fort Hayes uh, State University in Kansas, Bong. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you, Owen. You know, and you know, ladies, after the new crime republic takes control of the country, <clears throat> Lopatin will implement the education reform right away. All the 13,000 plus schools will have to be remodeled and upgraded to the Western standards, um, school materials, school uniforms, school meals, school buses will be provided to all students. And I am very sure that our school system will be regarded as the best educational system in the region in a very short time, lady. Yeah. Um... I want to know uh, what else could be done to uh, stimulate um, the education system. Oh, Galiana, you don't mind? Um, I know you kind of want to call. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, I got it. I, got, I, I think my throat got really dried up, but I'm okay now. I, I drank very some water very here. Very hard, very hard. Yeah. Yeah, yes. you know what? You know, well, our country is very much behind in education, material, and teaching know how. 
um, we need more technical subjects that are in line with the required skill of today's market. Now we are in the fourth generation um, of the industrial or digital era or the AI, artificial intelligence era. You know, like the Arab nation, the United Arab of Emirates has seven American universities and Qatar has four American universities. You know, this is the most effective way to springboard our school system to be competitive in order to produce highly educated youth in the, for the future, Bong. Thank you, Own Kalyan. Own Tina, you want to have any comment? <laughs> well, um, well like, like I said, Bong Kalyan is correct, right? Uh, Cambodia, we have one university called the American University, right? That have affiliated with two American universities here in the United States and one at Arizona University in Fort Hayes, um, you know, state university. So she's correct, Bong. Yes, and China, you know, it is an online study between the two countries. And, and you know, I have seen it as many as 10 uh, Khmer students that graduated this summer from the University of Arizona. Uh -huh. They, you know, actually came to the state on the graduation day to pick up their diplomas. And they walked with the rest of the graduate student, you know, with the rest, like hundreds, thousands of them, you know, for the classes of 2022 here in the States. You know, regardless, American school or the American school system is regarded as one of the best respected education system in the world. And you know, I'd like to share a story with you ladies here. You know, back in 2008, my husband was approached by the University of Hawaii Manoa through their East West Center program to bring their University of Hawaii um, program to Cambodia. However, um, the proposal got canceled uh, due to um, Governor Abercrombie lost his election. What it is, is the University of Hawaii Manoa would be a perfect partner of education for Cambodia because of the East-West Center program. This program had produced as many, uh, many of Hun Sain's high government official already. So he sent those students to study with the program, East-West Center, and went back with the PhD degrees. And there's so many of them the last 15 years. Hmm. So, you know, um, they, they know the university understand how Gold Khmer uh, learning ethic is. And at that time, they were thinking about um, the undergraduate program with special dual arrangements of classes in Hawaii um, for the latter part of the school before graduation. And then this way, the university would be able to generate revenue for the states. Thank you, Owen Kalayan, <laughs> for those <laughs> Okay, Kmoy <laughs> Devi, uh, what's all your thought about Owen Khmer getting a top-notch education system in Cambodia in the future, Kmoy Srey? For me, Owen uh, Khmer like me is craving for the best education, and from what I heard, it's very exciting. I know Khmer will forest under bombs. His Excellency Professor Dr. Reci Dam leadership Thank you, Khmoy Srey. With all the planning for reforming this education, uh, educational system and bringing the foreign uh, university to springboard our youth, what is the plan to get them, you know, job after they graduate? Mong Chavi, I'm glad you asked this question. Uh, let me remind everyone out there who is listening to us right now, or uh, will be listening later. We have been saying this is 2018. His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray Sidam is a very brilliant man. His political influence is beyond everyone's imagination. His record is impeccable. He is needed by every leader around the globe, including the United States government. His, you know, his control of the world financial monetary system is the lifetime of the superpower ball, especially China right now. You know, do you get the picture? Because, you know, um, you know, we he has the leverage. We have leverage. You know, like we, you want me to spell it out? E L E V E R A G E. Leverage mm -hmm. um, on every nation out there. This means that Lopatian could open any job market for Kongkmai anytime. Our country is going to have more job than we will be able to find people to fill. This is the planning that Lopatian uh, puts in place since 2016. 
His determination is to make Khmer a great nation again. In a few short years, we are going to have high company, I'm sorry, high tech companies in Cambodia. And there will uh, only be a few garment factories for Khmer uh, to sweat off over it, Mom. Thank you very much, lady. And uh, we have come to end our show again. But before we end, I would like to hear from all, everyone, including Khmer Devi, in one or two sentences about what uh, the future of Phone Khmer you will be like under the leadership of His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam. Khmer Devi, you go first, and then go on Dalian, and then, uh, of course, my dear sister, On Tina, last one. Khmer Devi, please. Naming Chavi, I am very confident that our nation will prosper like other nations on this earth. Every child will have a chance for good education and be able to study as high in education as they want to study than me. Thank you, Khmer Devi. Th thank you very much. Okay, Ong Kalyan. Oh, thank you, Bong and um, Khmer Devi. We are very happy that you're here. And hopefully, you know, we will see you again, talk to you again soon. And, you know, for um, my outlook uh, for our country is, is very high. Our future generations will be very bright and prosper than ever before, ladies. His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam will not be second in any country, um, to be second to any country. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very certain that our education will not be second to anyone um, in terms of quality and resources of information and instruction to teach our young generations to come. Singapore and the United Emirates um, have done it. Their university system is the top notch in England and the United States. And local team will do the same, even better, ladies. And to, you know, when our youth graduate, their faith will land them with good jobs, with well paid, um, and the job will be very certain due to His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam top industrial job placement to meet the economic demands of the Industrial Revolution 4.0, which already secure to bring top world manufacturing arms to Cambodia. And now everyone sees why we always talked about the 209 countries in nine regions, because Lopatian has influence in economy, finance, and political clout. And to sum, this up, to sum it up, ladies, you know, we will have the best education. We will have a solid top-notch economy in ASEAN. Our gold Khmer's future will be bright under the leadership of His Excellency Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam. Thank you, Bong. Thank you, Lopatian. Thank you. Thank you, On Kalyan, On China. Um, thank you, Bong Kalyan and Bong Chavi. I share the same vision with Bong Kalyan as well. Um, Bong Lopatian planned his, uh, you know, this for Kong Khmer quite a while since 2016. His moral compass is very strong and passionate to see Kong Khmer happy and our nation will be strong again. Everything Bong Kalyan has just mentioned will be a reality in the near future after we liberated the country, Bong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, lady. And um, thank you, especially Khoi Devi. We hope to see you again soon. Our show has come to an end now. And we have more to share tonight, but we will shall return soon. Again, tonight, I want to reach out to all Kong Khmer, me of all that have been following us and supporting every show and have been making lovely comments. I am very grateful for your support. Send our journey forward to liberate our country is very, very near. Your loyal support means so much to mm -hmm. us. Our Lady Viewpoint Group is working very hard to bring awareness to all Kong Khmer worldwide to know, to know the truth. We only share the truth, nothing but the truth. May our Buddha continue to bless all Kong Khmer, especially Lopretian, for his love for our country. Again, thank you. On behalf of our SCKHK My Lady Viewpoint, we would like to thank you, His Excellency, Professor Dr. Ray C. Dam Dupu Soropet, and that means one whole, and all CSK, SCKHK member, and of course, last but not least, all our supporters around the globe. As committed, the Supreme Council of Khmer Health Khmer for rescue will ensure 
that all the traitor will be brought to justice. If you want to be part of the history, please contact us, my lady viewpoint, or you could go to racydam.org. Don't be shy, please, to become a CKHK member. Until we meet again next month, please follow Khmer Politics and the Supreme Council of Khmer Hai for rescue. Thank you very much and good night, everyone. ยิงខ្ញុំទាំងអស់នេះសូមថ្លែងអំណរអរគុណដល់អស់លោកលោកស្រីប្រិយមិត្តតែងតែតាមដានកម្មវិធីទស្សនៈស្ត្រីនៃ